presence yeah getting it in right now man i got him away from his bicycle club no bike <laughs> motorcycle club i want them beat me up um for you know for a little bit but you know he's a busy man so we got to get into this all right it's not what you train it's how you train <laughs> what's going on my fitness seekers KHB fitness here and i apologize for the very long and tedious wait uh, for whoever was waiting, my subscribers, uh, friends and family, all of that good stuff, man. So I had to go ahead and hit you guys with a pretty good video of me and the brother doing upper body, uh, shoulders, back, and chest all in one hit. So we started out first with the shoulder press. Secondly, we moved on over here to the posterior delt pullbacks. These will really light up the terriers and mar terriers minors and majors. And man, they rip into the shoulders really good. So those undeveloped areas that a lot of people forget to hit, thinking that shoulder press or raises are the only way to get it. Man, you got to focus on the back. The back does not get enough work, and that's what a lot of people lack at. Then we moved on to interior delt raises, four sets, ten reps. Every rep that we did here. We had a two second on each one uh, just to concentrate on the tempo. Time under tension is the key, man, for that building. But uh, when we did the fourth set on every set of every uh, uh, move that we did, we went ahead and did a burnout. So we did half of the weight and we went ahead and just did as many as we can, 20 to 30, depending on you know how strong the muscle was for that particular area. After those, we moved on to cable crosses into the middle so we can get you know the upper chest mid even though there's only two parts of the chest the lower and upper don't let anybody tell you different you can definitely hit them in different angles because some people respond differently than others when it comes to particular work so we started with the mids and then we moved to downwards after this As promised, here the cable crosses the downward version to work the bottom chest. You know uh, that you know when people want to get those those gorilla back, big old chest breasts or ass chest, whatever they want to call those things, man. You got to focus on the bottom too. Never forget the top, but always focus on the bottom. This is going to be beneficial to you on both of those to hit them from every angle. Then, like I said, we can't forget about the upper chest here. So what we did is we went ahead and did unilateral cable raises because I like unilaterals because I feel like my chest responds better in singles them out and I'm not, you know, focused so much on one side than the other. But you can do them together. It doesn't matter. You'll still get the same result. Uh, but sometimes you need to, be able to get a little bit more focus on one side than the other. And we move to the standing rows. The good part about standing rows is that you really engage your core when, when this is happening here, your abdominals, whatever you want to call it. It really gets engaged when you're doing yourself standing rows versus the sit down rows, which uh, you can concentrate on the back as well. But this will give you a double whammy, man. That's why I really like doing these. Uh, I got a lot of good pull action and shows you how strong the core is as well. Then we moved into the traditional lat pull downs, but you see that we're doing supinated or underhand, so we get the lats more than doing overhead, which will engage more of the shoulders and traps come into play with that particular. But when you do them underhand and you're keeping the focus on the movement and bringing it to the lower part of your chest or under to your sternum area, what it'll do is you'll you'll go ahead and get way more lat action that way. It's something that I feel and clients of mine have felt better too doing it that way. The 
Last but not least, more core action, standing lat pull overs, four sets, 10 reps. Uh, this one as well, man, really engage the lats, those hard to reach areas that you have to go ahead and hit different angles on to really get a fully developed back when it comes to these particulars. So don't be afraid of these movements, man. Or add these to your arsenal if you are not doing them already. Keep the form and you'll be good to go. Finished it up, man. We did it. How you feeling, brother? <laughs> he did fantastic, yeah, man. It's not where you train. It's how you train, man. I told people. We got this. Keep up with me, people. Both time, baby. KHP. In the vegan games. Oh, yeah.